Okay, thank you for joining us today. Um, it's a really interesting delivery program that you have there at Marist. Um, explain how it works, first of all. Yeah, sure. So uh, we launched the delivery service back in the fall, actually, mm -hmm. uh, on the Marist College campus. And it's sin since uh, has been quite popular and has expanded to other locations uh, on campus. And, and how it works is that um, students use the Grubhub app to place their orders for uh, uh, what they would like to eat on campus. There are four different locations on campus that offer the delivery service. So they select from the menu, they place their order. Uh, our dining location receives the order, packages it up, packages it up <laughs> and um, sends it on a golf cart to a delivery pickup location, which is a centralized location on campus um, within five different uh, zones. So we've zoned the delivery locations and two zones where a student can pick up their dining order. Mm -hmm. um, and that's essentially how it works. And they get alerted, um, they're communicated with along the way. So there, there's five locations to which the deliveries are made? So the so we have several different locations. Maris is a mid-sized campus mm -hmm. and uh, there's actually a very busy road that goes right in between the campus. Um, so uh, with a bunch of traffic lights and things like that. So um, we found that the best way to deliver uh, food on campus was to use golf carts mm -hmm. and golf carts would be able to utilize the tunnel that actually goes underneath the busy road across the other side of campus to make deliveries on that side and vice versa from that dining location on that side to this side of campus and um, in order to uh, have uh, you know a balance of uh, speed of service mm -hmm. and uh, the ability to offer this uh, this uh, delivery service on campus, we actually centralize five pickup uh, zones. So we call them delivery pickup zones, where one designated building will kind of host the zone in a location that our dining employees can access. So uh, in Frequently, it, it turns out to be laundry rooms, um, like swipe access laundry rooms, where we have a pickup delivery location table set up where it's marked with Grubhub, and our delivery drivers place the order there, and students will get alerted, and they can go and pick up their their order there, um, alleviating the need for students to have to walk to one side of campus or the other and go underneath the tunnel um, and things like that. How much lead time is there between when they order and when they get the food? The standard lead time is about 45 minutes. Uh, our One of our locations is delivery only. So that is a, a, a true time. Sometimes it's actually even faster than that, mm -hmm. um, depending on the amount of students ordering. Uh, one of our locations, the other locations offer pickup, walk up and delivery all at the same time. So there's a, kind of a balance uh, between those locations. We try to adhere to the 45 minute lead time as much as possible. Okay. How many carts do you have um, doing this? We have, well, we first started off with just our standard two um, golf carts. Mm -hmm. uh, we had about two golf carts last semester, and I believe we even started off with um, bikes. <laughs> but yeah. then the delivery service took off so much that we we discovered that it was worth the investment to uh to rent for the foreseeable future uh, a few more golf carts. And so now we have six on our fleet in total. Who, who does the delivering? Is it dining staff or students? Yeah, we have our full-time dining staff. Um, we have uh, supervisors, well-trained supervisors uh, who are fantastic and uh, make a lot of the deliveries on campus. And then we also started to incorporate some student employees into the mix. Uh, we realized very quickly that it's better to have more delivery drivers than not on your staff. Um, and uh, we do require a valid driver's license even to drive the golf carts. So it's important that our delivery drivers also have that even though they're not going on any roads. How, how many locations do you deliver from and are the full menus of those locations available for delivery? So we have four dining locations that make uh, deliveries on uh, there's kind of, they ha each have different time frames and different days, um, but there are four dining locations that offer delivery on, on campus, and they will deliver uh, all over campus to those delivery pickup zones, those sectioned uh, five zones. 
uh, what are the operating? Oh, revenues? and sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to answer the other part of your question was uh, about the menu. Mm -hmm. Yes, students can order from the full menu with the exclusion. There are some exclusions, and they mainly have to do with the cold items, mm -hmm. um, things like smoothies and sushi. Uh, just because of the uh, the delivery process, you know, the the acai bowls might melt, sushi might melt. I mean, not sushi. Smoothies might melt, and then sushi obviously you want to keep it at a really really cold temperature for delivery. So those are just some of the exclusions. But other than that, uh, students are able to order from the full menu. Yeah, sushi probably doesn't travel that well. Yeah. Uh, what, what are the operating hours uh, that the delivery is available? So each uh, location kind of has a different service offering. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's in the evening. Uh, so our cabaret location uh, delivers from uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Our marketplace location delivers Saturday through Thursday, so they are closed on Fridays. Our dining hall operation delivers daily uh, in the evenings, and our north end dining location delivers Monday through Friday in the evenings, all pretty much starting around 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 4.30. Uh, students can order from anywhere on campus to any of the locations that offer the service? So there are some exclusions like our um, our dining locations that are located inside academic buildings like our, our cafes, uh, they don't deliver because right. they're mainly servicing students who are grabbing coffees on the way to class. Um, we really focus on uh, dinner service delivery uh, because that's usually pre-pandemic when our peak times in the dining facilities used to be. Um, so we we decided that, that was the best uh, option to be able to uh, offer delivery service. Um, so, so there are only four locations that deliver in the evening. The cafes, uh, like our, we probably brew, uh, Starbucks location does not deliver. Um, but uh, really the, the main locations that students wanna order from, we offer delivery. and. Students located on the east or west side of campus can place delivery orders from any one of those uh, that offer delivery and would be able to get it to their delivery pickup zones. What's the most popular times? Is it dinner time or is it later in the evening? Uh, most popular time, uh, it feels like the entire time, <laughs> but <laughs> But the pickup, uh, the delivery pickup uh, times that seem to be the most popular are between 5 and 7 p.m. Okay. What are the most popular items that um, they ask for delivery? Surprisingly, um, the number one item, just based on pure numbers alone, uh, is bottled water. Oh. <laughs> um, not that exciting, but uh, but following that uh, are uh, French fries, quesadillas, chicken tenders, popcorn chicken, our famous buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich, uh, candy chips, mozzarella sticks, and also our signature chicken uh, bacon ranch wrap. Are all the most popular items. And how do they pay? Is there like a meal plan component or is it a credit card? Students are able to make purchases using their meal plan. So uh, on our campus, we call our declining balance thrifty cash, and they can also use their um, their uh, what we call uh, Maris money, which is another form of payment, uh, not associated with their dining plan. They can also use uh, what we call UPIC, which is a meal equivalencies. And then they could use, if they wanted to, uh, credit or debit. In, in terms of all the meals that are served on campus at the locations, uh, what percentage um, is delivery based as opposed to just picking up in person or getting in person? So from the locations that actually uh, offer delivery, mm -hmm. it makes up marketplace is 100%. So that's one thing. And they offer mm -hmm. delivery only from that location. But uh, on average, it's 20% uh, versus the pickup orders. And that uh, doesn't include walk up. But if we're looking at uh, digital orders only, it's about 20% of uh, orders. So student, about 20% of the time students are opting for delivery. Why was this originally started? I mean, what, what does it add to the campus dining program? So the, uh, the idea was born um, actually a, a really long time ago. I think this was something that was kind of like we were interested in, but we didn't really have the... Uh, uh, 
facilities, um, the resources to be able to do it. And then uh, COVID came and I think it accelerated, accelerated everybody toward a digital offering. Um, so it was something that was kind of bubbling, but uh, then COVID came and then we decided that, um, you know, specifically general manager Colleen Dowdy along with the team, uh, our retail manager, Nina Cantamesa, and also our uh, liaison to the dining services, the former associate dean of student affairs, Steve Sansola, uh, got together and uh, thought about how are we going to alleviate the pressure from the dining facilities, um, because we still have uh, students on campus at Marist. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still serving many, many students. I, I don't know the exact number, but uh, between two and 3,000, I would say, students mm -hmm. on campus. And those students normally would come in and sit down in the dining hall and eat. So our dining hall is about 700, seats about 700 students, a little more than that. And um, to have all the students in here is actually, would be against uh, New York State guidelines. So we actually had to figure out a way to alleviate the pressure on students wanting to eat in the dining hall. And um, so we offered takeout yes but also as kind of like a an added um benefit to to students on campus during these tough times was delivery to their their locations um have you seen noticed a uh, change in the number of students using the service since it launched are there more using it or less I would say that the locations that were offering it since last semester were pretty even. Mm -hmm. uh, Marketplace being the number one uh, location on our campus, that's been pretty consistent. But then just this semester, we launched delivery service from our North End Dining location, which is uh, very popular on campus. Mm -hmm. It didn't offer it last semester. And then that's when we started to really see an uptick. So. At the beginning of the semester, I don't think that students really knew uh, about it. And then all of a sudden, someday it just became widely known and now it's it's been up there. So each of the locations that offer delivery um, are, are doing many orders. So I would say uh, about 200, we're up to about 200 from each location uh, a night. Mm -hmm. What uh, any major tweaks or adjustments you had to make since the service started uh, once you saw how it went? Yeah, so we had to, we actually had more delivery zones uh, on campus. We actually consolidated down to five. And this is again to speed up the service uh, on campus. So our delivery drivers would be able to grab bags by zones when they're ready and bring them all to one location and drop them off at a delivery pickup table at one of those centralized zones and then uh, alert the students all at once that their orders are there. So students uh, on, on the first year side of campus uh, would be able to uh, easily order and have it uh, delivered to their centralized zone. And by consolidating some of those zones, it's made it a lot faster. Um, we also uh, expanded delivery uh, from the North End Dining location. It didn't offer it last semester. Mm -hmm. And that's been able to help take some pressure off of um, the other locations. So by kind of spreading it around and offering opening up more locations to delivery, we've allevi alleviated some of the pressure off of um, the locations that previously were the only ones to offer it. Well, finally, um, what advice would you give to other campus dining programs that are considering this kind of a service? Uh, what are the initial major challenges that they have to face? I would definitely um, take a page out of our retail manager's book uh, who kind of came up, I believe she came up with the, the idea of the zones. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I'm trying to give credit where credit is due. Um, but definitely if you're a bigger campus, uh, establish zones um, because those are, are those really help us um, kind of keep down the amount of uh, delivery time. Um, another thing is just making sure that you're balancing your pickup, walk up and delivery and not really um, letting one go to favor the other and just making sure that you're serving all students, um, you know, across the board as quickly as you can um, while maintaining the quality. Um, and then another thing is uh, maybe invest in um, 
battery packs for your drivers <laughs> okay. so for their phones because if their phone dies um, they no longer have a way to communicate with students or check orders so always having a backup battery pack for delivery drivers um, and uh, just making sure you're tracking your data because uh, your data will tell a story and uh, by evaluating your data either on a daily or a weekly basis looking at your uh, on-time accuracy also your average actual delivery time you know how long is it taking from a, for a student to place the order to actually receive the order and just tracking that data um, it's really important to just keep checking with your drivers and also staff a lot of drivers, uh, even some that are, uh, you know, maybe trained to do something but could be on call for, for driving uh, if you need it, if it ends up being a, a peak time, because we've seen our numbers reach about 600 delivery orders in one night. Well, great advice and great program. Thank you so much for um, giving us a little time today.